In my video laboratory accident, I showed how to create a DNA molecule, but that was within the video, all right? I'm just gonna show you real quick how to do a DNA in case you have to do one. So we'll do a double helix here. So we'll bring in a plane. I'm gonna look from the top, go into edit mode. And I'm gonna select these two vertices and merge them in the center. And these two, merge them in the center and go back into object mode. So I've got just align the two vertices. Come over to the modifiers and I'm gonna add a screw modifier. I'm gonna put in about 10, 10 meters and collapse that and just leave it like that. Next one is gonna be a skin modifier. Just collapse that for now. Come down, do a subdivision surface. I'll probably put it at two and then a displace modifier. Click new and click here and add a texture such as clouds. Go back to the modifiers and reduce, this, reduce that to about 0 0.25 or so to get that knobby kind of look. Um, if I come back to the skin and I add smooth, might look a little bit better. It's up to you what kind of a look you want. All right, go into edit mode and Alt S and pull. You can adjust the size of this like that. And I can take this and scale, scale it down in object mode. If I come back to the screw modifier and I increase this, I can change the distance beside uh, the distance of those rungs. All right, so that's your basic DNA molecule there. Well, we've got the the double helix and we've got the nitrogenous bases that would be in, in, in between. So that might look good on a computer screen or, uh, or as a model uh, somewhere.